Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. In the BCS standings, there's always the potential for a back door to swing open at just the perfect time, but not in a division race. You're not getting help from anyone but yourself, and these two teams will square off for the right to play for a conference championship. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Texas and Darrow K. Royal Memorial Stadium on the Texas Longhorns campus is one of the biggest. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. It's fielded at the two. And he has it on the corner. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes his way to about the 42. Butler's got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. And in talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. at the 30 brought down at the 27 maybe after a nice run like that you try to go up in the air for the play action pass first and 10 ball on the 27 yard line Makes it to the 17. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Right on. He fights forward to about the 16. That brings up second and nine. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. The 10. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. 
This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. UTEP wins it 21-14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Atkins looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Joseph's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played with. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. And they finally make the stop at the 50-yard line. That was a super run by the halfback. He was that close to taking it to the house. This tailback is always a danger to break one loose for a big run. And that time, we saw exactly that. Nice run up the middle. Jones, the ball carrier. He's pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here's an opening. He's at the 20. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. First and 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. seven yard line you know a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense and on that tackle he showed you why that's the case the owls running back taken out earlier sideline with that injury however it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game and he hits him hard at the six on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. We're even at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Butler on the handoff. He fights forward to about the 26. No game. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Let's go! 59 Philly! 59 Philly! They go to the ground game. Got some open field. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. He's all the way. Touchdown! Converts the extra point. Tex 
Francis gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Oh, what a hit. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one will put the offense Still in a first hole, first. and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Second and 12. Ball on their own 11. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. The Owls have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today is into tight coverage and it's going the other way to the 10 touchdown Longhorns and he tacks on the extra point his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off and he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 he's taken down at the 30 so at the end of one Texas leads 21-7 to the action now here in the second quarter. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. At the 38. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 38. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Patterson awaits the snap. Wallace fields it at the 38. Tackle made at the 46. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 44. From the 44-yard line, second down. Fires it 
fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 37. That'll make it third and one. He's on the run. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. throw incomplete one of his receiver and there wasn't anyone in the vicinity I think the ball just slipped out on him five wide and he might want it all here and does oh boy almost intercepted this just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. Loss of about two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18. Scrambling around. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds to keep that clock moving. Quick throw to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 40. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's at midfield. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. First down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he is drilled at the 35. That's a game of 11 on the play. Yellow three! Shift, shift, shift. Yellow three! Black up! He fires this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Zips it to the tight end, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's scrambling. Has some daylight. 
They'll bring him down at the 13. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Over the middle, got his tight end, and he's immediately tackled. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That'll make it fourth and ten. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. We've played a half of football here. The Longhorns in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. That first half did one thing for sure. It ordered up an upset. It started percolating right now. Venti size, dark fruit. <laughs> Firm with a little <laughs> kick at the end. We, we could have we could have one percolating here. Oh, yeah. We, we didn't see it coming, but it definitely looks like this team was ready to rock, and you could see them making plays, and, and it doesn't seem like it's stopping. It, it doesn't seem like they stopped the bleeding going into the second half, or to the end of the first half. It looks like something that could continue. Tell you what, them boys that were favored, they better start getting ready to play because they got a fight on their hands now. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Grigsby takes it at the four, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's to the 40, and they push him out around the 43-yard line. First down. Four down, five left, five left. Four down, four down. Mike three. Mike three. Gets it. He's in space. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 28. That makes it first and ten. Runs outside for a nice game. Game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Easy, two. Three, two, twenty. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down. Touchdown, Owls. And 
and he hits the PAT. A six-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Rice is lining up to kick this one off. Miller from the two at the 30. Tackle the 39-yard line. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Texas is up four. Throws it out and off. He's hit hard for a loss. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 38. Let's go! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the 39. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up third and 10. to his receiver. Tackle at the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. He makes his way to about the 28. That makes it second and two. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Texas holds a four-point lead. The 10. Touchdown, Texas! He's been a force getting to Pater three times. This guy's made a career out of making defenders miss and finding the end zone. That's what makes him one of the top backs in the country. the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. The Wildcats, they believe to win, they have to be able to run. To score, they did run with the first touchdown of the game. The Wildcats are on top, 7-0. And for the Longhorns, well, if that score holds up right now, they're going to be in great position to move up in the BCS standings if they win. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Grigsby takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Bryce is looking on offense right now, Kirk. A whole different story from the first half. Yeah, I think they've made a few tweaks to their game plan, and I think it's helped them out. The quarterback seems to be making better decisions. Right now, they can't be stopped. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Still on the tackle at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Mike three! Mike three! Hey, we gotta get the stop here, D. Get it, Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven. Zero, zero, Mike that makes it second and two. Three. 
He makes the catch and has a first down. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That's good for a game. Mike three. Mike three. Wide out makes the first down catch. Lambert makes the tackle at the 22-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Draw a tackle in the backfield. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball in the 23. He scrambled. And they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Mike three. Mike three. Right here, right here. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Rice! Play. The defense is so concerned about the quarterback's ability to create that they left the halfback all alone. And once he took the pitch, there wasn't anything between him and the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, they seem to believe that three things can happen when you pass, and two of them are bad. Most everything that happens when they run is good, including this touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead, 14-0. Thanks, Reese. 28-24 here. Rice to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. Rice is the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. Texas is up by four. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. It's second and 13. Ball on the 26. Butler gets a ball left side. And he's tackled at the 24. That is a loss of two yards. That brings up third and 14. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. It's been an offensive explosion through three quarters of play. We head to the fourth quarter. The Longhorns lead it by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. complete for good yarding. Just a risky throw here by the quarterback. You cannot keep tossing it up into the secondary like that. Expect your guy to come down with it every time. The defense is going to jump on one of those and take it the other way. He's 
taken down at the 47 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 47. Just throws this one away. Texas is up four. He's under some heat. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 36. Terrell picks up about seven yards on the option keeper. Here's the eighth play of the series. Inside the 10. Tackle made right around the eight-yard line. is the ninth play of this drive. And they hit him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. We've got second and goal. Nine yards to the goal line. Let's go! Three, 19! Three, 19! Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the three. About six yards on the play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. If they can get it in here, it'd make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's take a trip to Norman. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Oklahoma, once again, this game just goes to show you, never take anything for granted in college football. And for Nance, he stuck it in the end zone twice. The Wildcats are out front, 17-3, middle of the second quarter. Meanwhile, the Tigers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the pollsters move them down? David took the little rock, he slung it with all his might, and it hit Goliath right on the noggin, and down goes the giant. The Cardinals victorious by 14. And for the Longhorns, wow, BCS standings are really going to get shook up if they win this game. Atkins gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle made at the 26. Well, you got to say one thing. These two offensive coordinators have got to be smiling because every time they have a play, it works. And we've got points on just about every drive. 
We're about set to start things up again. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 46. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He wants it all going long. And he got it. Touchdown, Owls. The game over, coach. The huge pass and catch for the touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. Two points here. Red two. And they get the two. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Texas 35, Rice 32. The 39 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. goes at about the 37 yard line price gains about two yards on the run there was simply no daylight on that play the defender came in and dropped the hammer they'll bring him down at the 29 yard line well, the execution of this offense has been on display here on this drive they know what they needed to do and that's pick up the first down work the clock and finish this game off and with that first down they may have done it the middle for a nice game. Price gets six yards on the play. The Owls using their third and last timeout. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. Five wide. back to him and this time they get him in the backfield that makes it second and ten second down ten yards to go ball on the 14 yard line under a minute left tackle at about the 17 yard line So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. Texas 35, Rice 32. So that wraps things up for us. 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.